I'm gonna do this level again, but not as in depth. I just need the green key. Well, then I need to do the other part of the level, but green key. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Slaps the whole fucking tank just to do that. Thank you. 
Oh shit, I gotta kill them all, don't I? Maybe not. This thing. Damn, it's a lot of grenades. Wait, what? Oh. I should have looked at the totals page. Oh well, he's got the uh he's got the green thing. I wanna see if Juno's got those earpieces. So he did do that bonus mission at the SS Anubis. Fuck you then.
Wait, I, already, I did this planet? Oh. Well, good shit. There probably is a hidden exit, though. Oh well. I'll come back for it later. Please. One of these areas I never even made it to. This is definitely going to be my last level for the night, and that's if I even get through this. Does she have a blue key? Oh shit, she does. This one's still stuck in the wall yet. Is there another one stuck in the wall? Oh, no, you're just hiding. The bear monsters like looking at you. Uh, well, they also like getting shot too. When I can't get to them, that's why I ended up doing. Cause there's a bunch of them where you just needed a jetpack for. And uh, when I didn't have a jetpack, I'd just kill them. They'd make me angry. Like I was having a lot of fun with this game until I had to start backtracking to get all these motherfuckers. And now, 
I just want it to be over. Wait! Wait a fucking minute. It didn't even say that was a new area. There was no thing to fucking indicate that was a new area. Did I even have any tribals last time? I don't think I picked anything up, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I have a walkthrough, like, right next... Oh, I had to... Anyways, yeah, I have a walkthrough, like, in my lap right now. Phone in my lap with the lap uh, walkthrough on. But yeah, dude, fuck this game. There was one spot on, I want to say, the SS Nubis where there's a tribal in the fucking, like, wall. It was like, or, okay, it was a door, but there's nothing to indicate that was a door. You just had to know it was a door. Because the fucking door textures and the wall textures are the exact same. They didn't, like, make it to where one just looks slightly different. Oh, yeah, you used time Dude, fuck that part. And this is made by Rare. Rare makes some good decisions. Some. But not all their decisions are great. And there's a couple of things on Jet Force where it's like... You know, like, they love backtracking. I mean, look at Donkey Kong 64. That game's all about backtracking. Although, I actually mind that game... Uh, I actually like the backtracking. Okay, well... I tolerate the backtracking in that game a lot more. Because that's a more enjoyable game. But this, man, I was... I was having fun until I had to start backtracking. Now I'm all pissed off. Gotta travel through the wall. Ever found the door? Oh, damn. Speaking of walls, there's an enemy that, um... Because you have to kill all the enemies for this life force door right over here. And there's an enemy that runs into this wall. And he's stuck in there. And you wouldn't fucking know it otherwise unless you left the area, came back, watched him respawn and run into the wall. You just wouldn't know he was there. Like what, what kind of bullshit is that? There's a couple of times where they run on the wall and you just can't get them. Stop mine a few years. Um, for my favorite rare game, it's either Conkers or Banjo Kazooie. Or Tui, excuse me. I like Tui a lot better than Kazooie. Um, it's one of those two. But really, I'd say more Conkers. Um, I just used to fuck off in the multiplayer in that game by myself, fighting the bots. I never played, or I never had GoldenEye as a kid. I played it um, at a friend's or a cousin's. I don't remember where. But I never actually owned it, because everyone always says uh, GoldenEye is their favorite. This is my rare shooter. And as a kid, I never got this far. Because I didn't know... Um, on her first level, I didn't know you'd shoot the glass to get the fucking blue key under the fucking glass thing. So yeah, I got stuck. I played Juno up, up until like the zombie world, and uh, that's where I got stuck. Yeah, Terry's Donkey Kong. Playing on GBC. How about going on? You know what? I didn't even uh, own an SNES, so when I played Donkey Kong Land or Country on the fucking um, Game Boy Color, I didn't know that was a port. I thought I was made specifically for the GameCube. Those are actually one of my favorite games on the um, Game Boy. It's great, kind of because it's the first first okay FPS. Um, movie was great. Well, Doom came out before then. Doom and Wolfenstein. Those were first-person shooters. But they definitely modernized it. Um, I mean, if you can call GoldenEye a modern standard, but it really was the modern standard. Like, how uh, Mario 64 was the modern standard for platformers, GoldenEye was the modern uh, standard for FPSs. People like to say Halo, and I'm a huge Halo fan. But I mean, 
Halo just built upon Goldeneye. Seriously, it took me over almost 30 minutes to beat this level last time I was here. I was not looking forward to coming back. Doom was kind of unplayable if you didn't know how the inputs worked back then. I mean, was so lost. See, I never had it as a kid. Um, I had a fucking... I had an N64 in Genesis with limited games. They were hand-me-downs from my uncles. And that's all I had. So I just played those for years on end until I got an N64. Oh. Actually, for Nintendo consoles, I just skipped over the, the SNES. Went from NES right to 64. Ooh, almost shot that motherfucker. Um, NES to 64, then GameCube, then Wii. Skipped out on the Wii U. And you know what? My plan was to never skip it on the Wii U. Oh. Let me read yours real quick. I tried to Move bad, no clue whether or not I was shooting or not. Doom 2. And like I said, I've never played them. Um, I just, I know of them. I like gaming history and gaming trivia and all that. I didn't have a PC to play games on. And, and again, this was like the early 90s or and 2000s. Like, no one really needed a PC. Internet was kind of shitty anyway, so it was like more of a luxury thing. What was I saying, though? Oh, skipped Wii U. Yeah. So, I didn't mean to skip the Wii U. I kept telling myself, I'll get the Wii U when they release Animal Crossing. And, uh... Well, you can guess what happened from there. <laughs> like, the Wii U always looked like a cool system, but I was like, I'm gonna wait because I loved Animal Crossing City Folk, so I want to get the sequel. And Genesis N64... GBC, GBA, that I found, PS2, 3DS. Oh, I have two 3DSs. That's actually a funny story behind that one. So I had a 3DS um, in Texas, and then I joined the army and didn't didn't bring anything with me, you know, electronic-wise. I'm like, well, I'm basic. I'm not going to need anything, you know. You're, you're basic. Well, you graduate basic, you go to AIT, and I was like, man, I'm bored as shit. So I go to the PX, and I had a choice between a PSP or a 3DS. And I was like, I already own a 3DS, so I was thinking about getting a PSP. And I looked at all the games for it, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of this is kind of dog shit. So I just ended up getting me another 3DS. So when I came home, I had two 3DSs. So I had the genius idea of uh, completing my childhood dream, and are you shitting me? I need the dog, because there's no jetpack panel. All right, I'm gonna finish my story, and I'm gonna backtrack. Well, I'm gonna finish my story as I backtrack. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Oh, yeah, so childhood dream catching all 100 whatever Pokemon. So I bought Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I was playing them at the same time on both my 3DSs. And after after a couple of days, I realized I was like, wow, I actually don't like Pokemon. So, uh, so I stopped that. <laughs> I stopped playing. I, did, I ended up beating Silver because I got bored. But yeah, I don't want to. It's too easy to mod. I only went through the years too, maybe. Let's see, I don't mod shit. I I would like to get a, Wii, a modded Wii U for emulators and shit. But I'd probably break it if I tried to emulate it myself. So... Stay away from that. But yeah, so for current consoles, um, I got my Xbox One, which is what I'm playing on right now to stream um, Jet Force. I got my Switch, and I pulled my 360 out of storage to stream some games on there. I was doing Naughty Bear um, last month. And on the weekends now, I do Sonic 06. 
And I want to get my old Wii back, my original Wii, so I can start doing some of my GameCube games and Wii games there. I just need to buy me an HDMI converter for it. But the GameCube, the GameCube and Wii have so many great games that are not brought over to the Switch and probably might never get brought to the Switch. So, and if I can't get my old Wii back, then I'm just going to buy a, buy a pre-owned one. There's a lot of good games on there. Like, I I got all the games of storage, but they're at my buddy's house. Or, the actual Wii's at my buddy's house, so I can't actually do it. And the current console's not the biggest gamer. I mean, I'm a huge gamer, but I don't really have, uh... I was going to say, I don't have the time for games anymore. I do have the time for games, but games now just don't interest me. Like, I'm looking at everything new that's, that comes out, and I'm like, none of this looks fun. I mean, everyone kept hyping up Cyberpunk since at least last year when, when fucking Keanu Reeves was uh, on stage. And I was like, okay, but what do you do in the game? And no one ever explained to me what you do, so I mean, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to wait for it to come out, wait for reviews, and... Then all the reviews come in and everyone's pissed off at us. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not getting Cyberpunk. And then all the game developers are... Um, gonna be pushing towards the fucking... Towards the new generation. But they haven't released any games yet. So. We're in like a shitty in-between moment where... I guess the Switch is the only console where they'll be releasing good games on until game developers finally catch up with these new uh, systems. I used to wish I had so many things. Now it's like, eh. No, I mean, same here, man. Like, I kind of have everything I could ever want. I mean, like, all my basic needs are met, and a few of my above basic needs are met, so it's... You know, I'm pretty content with life. Everything else at this point is just a luxury. I was saying this the other day, but if it wasn't for the fact I was streaming this game, I would have quit already. Um, the moment the game would have told me to backtrack, I would have stopped playing, and <laughs> that would have been the end of that. But, because um, I like to put things on YouTube, so I'm like, you know what, I might as well just finish it, just so it's not incomplete. Because I have a couple of incomplete series on YouTube, and it kind of pisses me off. Not OCD, but it's like, I don't like leaving things unfinished. Also, what the fuck am I doing? That was the Life Force door. There's no enemies around. Now I'm gonna start to get pissed off. Don't tell me they're in the fucking wall again. That'd be unfortunate. This was like a sniper room. I mean, I don't know. I just... There should be a fucking enemy. Also, but this is a separate area, so really nothing... Okay, wait. Okay, he's picked up on an enemy. But where is the motherfucker? Oh! Oh, okay, I get your saying sniper. Now nah, I feel stupid. Yeah, I feel really dumb now. Okay, so this is a neat room. Although, I will say the sniper... They have so many weapons in this game that serve no fucking purpose. After I kill these motherfuckers, I'm gonna go down the list. Because there's a lot. Fucker.
love how fucking low detail <laughs> they are. I guess on an original uh, N64 you wouldn't be able to tell, but yeah, you can definitely tell now. Okay. Is that all of them? It's a life force door. Okay. All the bombs. No, that's actually one of the things I was gonna say. Um, okay, pistol useful. I just wish you could upgrade the the cooldown so it doesn't overheat that fast. Uh, this serves no fucking purpose. This is just grenade. I mean, because the enemy. Well, actually, it's not bad because the enemies move so fucking sporadically. So you could lay a trap for them. Matter of fact, I'd like that better than the regular grenade. It just takes too long to throw. Sniper, there's only... This is the only room where you've actually needed a fucking sniper in the entire game so far. This actually works pretty good on shield enemies, so I won't knock it too much. Uh, love this. This is fucking... The shotgun is worthless. Yeah, it goes through enemies, but, like, once you get the fucking rocket launcher, this is just... Takes too long to charge, but it's not worth it. This is inaccurate as balls. I hate it. But it's got a fast firing rate. But yeah, they're like They're fucking pointless. And then on the dog, he's got that little zap gun. Okay, that's a funny weapon to use. It's not worth a damn. Um Okay, so pistols off target's great. There's a one-time thing. But if you find the tribals without it, it doesn't have any use. Just one house and effort. Are you shitting me? So they put a whole fucking thing in the game for one tribal. And I already hate tribal hunting. Fuck. Have Rare, Rare's made some baffling decisions. I was actually dissecting this game in one of my earlier streams. I feel like I made a lot of good points, I just don't remember what the fuck they were. It's been about a week since I played this last. So I get home from work, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna stream. And then I remember, oh yeah, it's uh, it's Jet Force. And then I lose my motivation to stream. Like yesterday, I think I just played Tetris. I was gonna stream yesterday, and I said, fuck it, I'd rather play Tetris. And that's exactly what I did. Way too quick. Again, it's like the grenade you run out of your strong stuff and use the shotgun, begging it to save you. Actually, I just use the shotgun uh, in rooms where there's like a bunch of those robots where they expect you to use a machine gun, but I was out of machine gun ammo. That's the only time I found the shotgun useful. And even then, it wasn't really useful, it was just, you know, there. Fire. Well, again, it's good for shield enemies uh, if you don't feel like just spamming them. But it's like really limited in what you can do with it. Also, I've been at this for two hours, so once I finish perimeter, I'm gonna call it for tonight. Because I was wanting to do the whole military based in perimeter, but after finding out that you need the fucking dog, I'm very upset now. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. Also, like I said, two hours. I usually stream about two hours. Because that's all I can take in some games. Like, even fun games. Like, after two hours, I'm like, alright, I need to, like, get up and do something else. Next pinch pick was it here. No, I, I think I grabbed it already. It's like the beginning of the level. Unless you're talking about another one. Nothing's worse than getting near the end of the fucking level and then having one of these assholes kill one of the tribals. You know what? Oh, damn it, I didn't want to throw that. I wanted to throw the fucking time one. Was I out? Was that a time one? No, so why did it make me throw a flare? That's dumb. 
Also, I've gotten a game over before. I don't see the point of them. I was at Mizar's Palace, and I didn't have any health, so I said, fuck it, I need more health. So I just got myself a game over just to get all my shit back, and uh, just respond right where I was. That was one thing uh, um, I went on for a while about. Lies in video games. Modern video games do not need lies, and I don't know why they put them in there. Like, Mario... Ooh, better grab this. Mario, for the longest time, kept doing lives. Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, uh, Mario 3D World, 3D Land, and the 2D Marios. And those lives serve no fucking purpose. Because even if you get a game over, you just keep going on. I think... Sometimes it boots you to the beginning of the level rather than a checkpoint, but it, like it's not that inconvenient because the, le the level design isn't... It's not hard. So to get back to that checkpoint, first off, you shouldn't really even get a game over. But even if you do, it's not going to suck that bad to go back to the beginning of the level. Probably great. Well, great upgrade. Uh, yeah, no, this is great. Oh, fuck. Camera. Camera and lives. Again, some of the problems I have with this game, I also had problems with. Because, I, again, I just finished Mario Galaxy uh, for the first time recently. I had a lot of shit to say about that game. Because, again, the game had lives. No point for it. The game's camera system was god-awful. It was also released on the Wii, so... You had limited fucking range of buttons you could do with it. But... There's, like, some secret areas, if you can call them secret, and then you do, like, a little a secret puzzle, extra puzzle, whatnot, and then you got rewarded with the one-up mushroom, which do nothing. Because anytime you exit the game and go back to, like, the main lobby, you go back to the default five lives. So even if you had 60 fucking lives before you quit the game, when you come back to it, you're gonna have five. Even if you get game over, there's no fucking point. God, oh, that game pissed me off. Ah, I love the Wiimote. I just... I never played Galaxy when it first came out. So I finally got to play it on the 3D All-Stars. Which is a great game, by the way. Which had... Because I, I wanted to go back to Sunshine. But hey, it had 64 on there. I love 64. And Galaxy game I never played before. So I said, yeah, this would be pretty cool to try out. New Sonic game. Oh, they took me out of the new Sonic game. You could die if you wanted to. Fuck this room. Um... Are you talking about Sonic Forces? Never played that one. Fuck. Is that a power up I don't fucking have? Oh god damn. Oh god damn it. Did I just spend the last fucking 20 minutes? It's for Juno. God fucking demon. I don't think I have Juno's thing. I hate this. Oh my god, this pisses me off so bad. This is so much fucking worse than... Everyone complained about Donkey Kong 64, but at least with Donkey Kong 64, you knew what character you needed for what. Well, I guess for YouTube, I'm just gonna cut this entire part out. Does it serve no purpose? Alright, so dress up as a bug, you get into the club. I don't even know where you get the bug disguise at. Oh, you don't even know if you need it. Okay, well, even so, I still need... How many more tribals do I need for this area? I need four. And if they're not in that club, um... Oh, you know what? I'm pulling up my guide. Oh, god damn it, Google.
Yep. You need it. Don't need something like an old head, but gaming was different. Um, there's still unlockable stuff. It's just that game. Okay, that that club area is necessary. So I need to find the fucking power for Juno. I'm gonna do that next time. Wow, this is a fucking disappointment. These last 20 minutes. I knew this plant was gonna piss me off. That was right. So. I'm gonna need the dog for the main military base, and I'm gonna need Juno for the other. You know what? Before. Uh, cause I'm already past my streaming time. Hold up. Juno bug disguise. Jet force. Even Google's like, yeah, no, we're not going to give you the answer because no one's ever played this game. And I don't beat them. Or blame them. Uh, just beat Sonic Advance 3 and it gave me a different name. Secret code to access music stage. It'll get some of the stuff. But I had to have all the emeralds. Um, yeah, so they made Chaos Emeralds in Sonic. They made those part of the actual game rather than like collectibles that get you the last stage. Like, um... Sonic Adventure, um, Sonic 3, Knuckles, hey, there's the back. Okay, IGN, I hate IGN, but we're gonna use IGN. Guys, Jet Force. Yeah, um, Google is just not like telling me anything. Is this a power up he has inherently? Like he doesn't need to like find? I should speed around the same time. About an hour off. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I was talking with some other people when I was streaming Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and one of the dudes, he was a streamer on that game. I think he said he was number 14. Hold up. I'm gonna keep Googling because this is pissing me off. Like, they're not talking about the fucking... Disguises. Basically, you step on the button and turns you an ant. Okay, so it, does that just work for Juno automatically, or do I need to, like, have a power up prior? That's what I don't understand. Like, literally, Google. I'm Googling Jet Force um, drone disguise, and Google's like, yeah, no, there's no searches for it. No one's ever done it before. What fucking plan is this called? Maybe I'm spelling the planet wrong. Oh my god, I forgot the H. Normally it doesn't matter, but uh This game is so fucking like niche, even Google doesn't know what the fuck to do. Just locked a character spinning on the place. God damn it, see this is this is shit they need to explain in the fucking game. 
Because I didn't know Juno could walk in lava until I got to Mizar's Palace. Um, I didn't know what's her name could swim underwater again until Mizar's Palace. They don't. They did a terrible job of explaining shit. And it's weird because they have like story sequences, cutscenes in this game. They have a lot of fucking text, so you can't say, well, they didn't, you know, have text. No, they had text everywhere. Every motherfucking shaman wanted to tell you a story. That still gets one of Miser Palace accessories, a racing game. Oh my god. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna call it for this stream. <laughs> I was. You know what? I'm gonna look back on what I did this stream. Matter of fact, just so I I'm pissed off. So I want to at least, you know, tell myself I made progress somewhere. Oh, not like that though. Okay, so I finished this planet, space station. Unlocked that planet. Did that. Oh my god, is that really all I did? No, I finished that planet too. Okay, so I knocked out three planets this within two hours. Could have been four planets, but the game wouldn't be difficult. And these are already done. So, barring any of the other planets I haven't discovered, there is one, two, Three, four places I still need to get tribals. And again, the other parts. Also, I don't know... I hope I have all the spaceship parts I need. Oop, it's not taking damage from heights. Um, fall damage was never really an issue in this game. There's not too many spots where you, like, fall from fall height, like, far. And even if you do, it's not that much damage. That's every plan, not sure. Well, I, I'm assuming there has to be more. Because nearly every planet, like, on this, on Juno's path, has a secret exit. Goldwood has two exits. This is one. I haven't finished this planet yet, but I'm sure there's at least one, um, one hidden exit. There was a hidden area here. There might be a hidden area here, and I didn't find it yet. Not sure if there's a hidden one here. I don't think there's a hidden one there. And these two I haven't searched at all. But, alright. I guess... Oh, let me save this shit. Because if I did all that and didn't save, I would be fucking crying. One time I ran away and jumped from a block building thing died upon landing. And the thing is, they give you so much fucking health in this game, though. It's... The only way to really get killed is to really blow yourself up with explosions, lava, or the robots that shoot really fucking fast. Um, but, like, they give you so much full health, Geminis, and every time you get one of those upgrades, it fills you back up. But, all right, game saved. Um, look at this bonus. See if I got any bonus shit. No. As a kid, I want things to explode. I mean, you got rockets in this game, but... Alright, I'm out. I don't know if I'm picking this up tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? Yeah, I don't know if I'm picking this up tomorrow or not. Um, I'll pick it up. Definitely pick it up either... To, if not tomorrow, I'll pick it up Thursday. Because I'm off Thursday. Um... Christmas and probably if I do anything Christmas it'll be like late at night and then I'm on this weekend I'm gonna play more Sonic 06 because even though everyone hates Sonic 06 I'm having a much better time in that game than I am in this one because there's not as much backtracking but, all right I'm out thanks for watching <laughs>